Divine Feminines, your ancestors say, good job. They tell you to relax, take a break. Wish fulfillment is coming, okay? The end of a cycle is here. It's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Your ancestors are calling judgment on certain situations and are bringing, to be bringing together better collaborations for you, okay? That's what you need to know. There are towers coming in so that you guys, Divine Feminines, could move forward. All right? Justice is here, okay? Justice with the Queen of Cups talks about, you know, you guys, your emotions, your intuition. Listen to it. Balance it out, right? Balance spirituality, practicality. This is also Divine Feminine because of the things that you have going on and what spirit is placing you here to do. You are judgment. You are tower. You are justice. You are star. Understand? You have a female um, spirit guide that is with you, okay, guiding you forward. I'm seeing a lot of female spirit guides right now. Also, Divine Feminine Spirit is saying you can have friends, okay? Um, also, what I'm seeing here over on this side is a lot of Divine Feminines right now are focused on helping the collective move forward, right? But Spirit says there are some situations behind you, Divine Feminines, where if you want love to come to you, you have to acknowledge it as well. All right. I know a lot of divine feminines already feel all of this positive energy. Okay. You guys have chosen the path of love. And so that's what you are to be met with. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Okay. The world around you will start to show more love, more light, more healing, more balance, more things that are faulty. You guys will start to begin to see um, coming down around you. But it's so that you guys can move forward. Okay. Remember, the path of love is just that. Through every situation, choose the highest vibration of all, which will always be love. We know that's not the easiest at times, right? But chosen beings, especially I see these twins here, all right, twins, know that you are being guided by love. That is the path of the journey. That's why the card is called the lovers. We are to tap into our heart spaces at all times to be guided. We are to be guided forward on our path by our hearts, right? Allowing our hearts and our minds to be aligned for a grand design is what I'm hearing. You guys, just sit back, Divine Feminines. Your ancestors are working behind the scenes, making things right for you, all right? I see I have to pick up on the masculine energy that I see here, all right? So we have Divine Masculines as well because when you have the King and Queen of Cups, we are talking about divine beings, all right? Divine Masculines are healing as well. Coming out of, you know, conflict in any form for whatever reason, right? And healing that. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I heard walking into the light. You guys, Divine Feminines, you play a big role in what's happening here. Okay? You play a big role in what's happening here, Divine Feminines. Do not fear. Know that all of your works have been seen. You have passed. A lot of divine feminines are going through an ascension. So when I say you have passed, you guys are graduating and it's on to a new mission. It's on to a new purpose, right? There are still things to be built. So divine feminines know this is just one more level that you guys have ascended beyond. Divine masculines know that you guys are being guided as well, okay? Know that in the spirit, things are going and moving according to plan. And as we see what we see, we must know and tap in and realize what we see is what is about to be our reality. So let's keep our emotions and our thoughts pure, happy, and in alignment. Sometimes we may need to go into hermit mode to go in for self-actualization um, is what I heard, realization. Know that you guys have all of the tools that you need. You have all of the tools that you need at your disposal, okay? Divine Feminine, you have all of Mother Gaia, all of heaven, okay? And the universe and the, and the spirit realm will conspire in your favor to cause a tower to bring about justice in your life because that is how you are held. You are chosen. So Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, you need to know, continue to heal, be the light. Allow the, all this energy to dissipate because this is beautiful energy that's coming into the collective and it's because you guys have invested wisely. You've invested wisely, okay? Chosen beings, 
Divine Feminine, I got a candled message last night. You think that you don't have power or you feel like your power isn't what it is. But the Divine says, look at this. Look at this, Divine Feminines. Look at this. This is what you are here to do and bring about. Don't worry about love. Worry about moving yourself to karma times. And know as you do that, all you do is move into the light. And as you move into the light, who are you shown? Okay? And what is that? Continue to stay on the path of love, light, healing, growth, expansion, abundance, and evolution. It's about to get good, y'all. Congratulations.